Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back. Today we are here for a little bit of an announcement for the UPA for the Montreal Habsols. We made a transaction this week in the UPA. Before I get into what the transaction was, I just want to explain something. Uh, first of all, this is a two-part transaction, so we will be trading another Pokemon in for a free agent. Uh, and the second part is that I made this trade because I felt like... Not that my team was bad or anything, because we were ranked third on the power rankings, and I think deservedly so. Uh, we had a pretty good draft overall for a first draft, and I think the team looks very solid. The problem is it looks very solid. Not necessarily is very solid, and I've run into a couple of issues with planning over the, over the past couple of weeks. And one of those issues was that I was rocking, one, a lot of slow Pokemon, and one, a lot of... Uh, and two, ex excuse me, a lot of... Pokemon that were stuck to one roll, uh, and they couldn't do anything else very well. So I decided to drop our tier B free pick, which was Deancey, in our fairy type, and I decided to swap it out for Magnezone, as you guys can see on your screen. And now, Magnezone, while yes, it does have a very specific role, it's not always confined to that role. The thing is, this thing has three very, very good abilities. The first being Magnet Pull, which, against a few opponents that I'm up against in the schedule, is really good. And can pretty much eliminate checks for me to the rest of my team. So Magnezone accomplishes that role. Pairs very, very well with, uh, with Weavile, which doesn't handle Steel types too well in general. Obviously, Entei can do that, but Entei is... Relatively slow, actually, when you have to run a, cho a choice bandit. It hits 299 speed all the time, which was kind of upsetting. And I didn't take that into account when I drafted it, so might have wanted to reconsider that. But again, I was initially going for a sand team. But anyway, getting back to Magnezone. Uh, Magnezone also has another uh, two very good abilities. The first being Sturdy, as you guys will see here, and the second one being Analytic. Now, Sturdy prevents me from getting O-Code by anything. Now, Magnezone has a four times weakness to ground, and it's also weak to fighting. And I think that might be it. Fire as well. Yeah. So those are its three weaknesses. And one of them is a quad weakness, being ground. Uh, but Sturdy allows you to live that quad, uh, quad effective hit and fire back with, let's say, if it was an off of an earth power, you could fire back a mirror coat, which Magnezone gets. You can fire back a Thunderbolt or a Flash Cannon, depending on what Pokemon's in. Or a hidden power to hit quad effectively on something that's, let's say... Uh, I don't know, ground and grass like a Torterra or something. You can rock Hidden Power Ice and knock it out. So that's what uh, Magnezone's good, big, biggest role is, is to be able to, well, one, Magnet Pull and trap Steel types that Weavile would have otherwise had a problem dealing with. Uh, we also, or Latias for that matter, we also have Sturdy to be able to live one hit when hazards aren't up and be able to uh, Oko something back. And uh, finally, we have Analytic, which can come in handy because Magnezone's not the fastest Pokemon. We have a little bit of trouble with speed on our team. I mean, we do have the Weavile, we do have the Latias, but that's about it. I don't have anything that breaks the 400 mark, which is a little upsetting because there are really good Megas and really good Pokemon that do that, like a Selgore and so on. But we have Scarf, so that's what uh, that's another reason Magnezone is actually really good is because max speed Scarf um, outspeeds base 350s. So this thing can come in handy when I need to outspeed things like opposing Latios or Mega Latios or uh, anything really that hits 350. Gengar, let's say. So it's pretty good there. And uh, also, again, it can run choice specs. Look at that special attack, 130. I have it set right now to max HP and max defense because I just wanted to show you guys that this thing can also run bulk. And it can run bulk very well. Even with base 70 HP, it hits 344 and 361 in defense. So that's nothing to laugh at, it's pretty bulky, and if it's got leftovers, it's it's a nuisance to get rid of unless you're hitting it on the special side, or with a super effective hit on the on the, uh, on the physical side. So, yes, it's another quad weakness, which is, is a little uh, dis disheartening, because we already have uh, Seismitoad and Chestnut with four times weaknesses, but... This one is a little easier to cover because I have a lot of things that uh, can handle ground moves, being uh, Latias, being Electros, uh, 
uh, Seismitoad, um, definitely Chestnut as it resists them. So I'm pretty good on that on that front. I don't think I have to worry too much about those hits. Uh, this also gives me another flying check, which Deancey already was, but this one can actually uh, hit flying types relatively well back, especially things like Skarmory. So I don't have to worry about switching in like a Deblade and then getting Whirlwinded and then just having to deal with that. Like. That's that's what Magnazone's for. It's it's there to check flying types that uh, the Deancey couldn't, and yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, I, we did lose a Stealth Rocker, but like I did I did say before, we will be making another transaction next week. Unfortunately, we weren't able to make both right away, but the next one's going to be a lot bigger. This was uh, I made this this transaction for a very specific reason, and you guys are going to see why next week uh, because it just it just made sense. So that's, uh, that's pretty much going to be it. And uh, yeah, thanks again for watching, guys. Hit that like button down below. Subscribe as always. And uh, see ya.